Hi, I'm Lara. Today we're doing a tutorial for the song Stand By Me. I'm going to show you four different ways that you can play this song. This tutorial is for all levels, so we're going to start off with a beginning strumming pattern. I'll show you a second strumming pattern, and then two different finger picking patterns. So there are lots of options depending on your level and how you'd like to play it. If you enjoy this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, and thank you so much for subscribing. Now let's get started. This song has only four chords in it, G, C, D, and E minor. I'm going to show you an image next of the four chord diagrams, and then I'll show you how to play them. There's also a link in the description below to the chords and the lyrics. Here's how we play the four chords. The first one is G. Next is C. D. And then E minor. Starting off with our easy strumming pattern, we're going to do a down strum on the one and the three of every four beats. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's sing through the first two lines of the song using this strumming pattern. One, two, three. When the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see. Now increasing the difficulty of our strumming pattern, here's what our next pattern looks like. This pattern is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now let's sing through the first two lines of this song using this second strumming pattern. One, two, three, when the night has come, and the land is dark, and the moon is the only light we'll see. And now for our first finger picking pattern. Here's what it sounds like. I'm starting with string number four and then going to three, two, one, slight pause, back to two, and then three. Now let's use this finger picking pattern to sing through the first two lines of the song. One, two, three, when the night has come. Now increasing the difficulty a bit to our next finger picking pattern, this one actually starts with a strum and the rest is finger picked. Here's what it sounds like. I'm starting with a strum and then I'm going to the fourth string with my thumb. Then I'm playing strings one and two at the same time. Back to string four and then three. Looking at it very slowly, here's what it looks like. Now let's sing through the first two lines of the song using this fourth pattern. One, two, three, when the night has come. Now we're going to sing through the entire song together. 
So you've learned the chords and four different ways to play this song. Now you can pick just one pattern and sing throughout, or you can pick more than one and mix it up. Now I'm going to go back and forth between strumming and finger picking so you can hear what it sounds like to use a combination of patterns within one song. One thing to note is that there is an instrumental in this song. You'll see it written in the lyrics. If you're familiar with the melody of the instrumental, then feel free to hum it or sing it. If you're not familiar with it, then just play the chords as you see them written out. One, two, three. When the night has come and the land is dark i 